here we go so instead of doing it inside of um, survival mode like I did last time this time I'm going to do this in creative mode figure that'll make it easier for people to see what I'm doing uh, last time I did this in survival it kind of took a long time and I wanted to condense this down a little bit so we're gonna get a little music playing here I've got my plans all brought up for how to rebuild this thing and we will <clears throat> get this show on the road let's see Hopefully everybody can see what I'm doing here rather easily. Alright, so the first thing we got, looks like I did a 3-6. Tell you what, we're just going to build it and we'll count it afterwards. So the first thing you're going to want is your base material. For me, I wanted to use not black wool, not white wool. I wanted to use nether brick. I just like the way nether brick looks a little bit better. So, all right. I suggest pointing the doorway into the lighthouse towards wherever you plan to build a house. Over there, I'm probably going to build a house. So, I'm going to start here. And it looks like I started off with one. And you give two spaces, and there's your doorway. Two. And then it looks like we do a little L shape here. Ooh, two. Ooh, looks like I almost had enough to finish that. So we're going to go ahead and... Oops. Yeah, let's reorder these. And you know what? We'll drink a little potion of swiftness to make this a little easier on us. Alright, so I had three, two, and then... Looks like one, two, three four bricks and the way I've got this set up this should, will form a perfect circle so we're gonna go ahead and looks like I thought I had everything all terraformed but looks like that is not the case luckily this is as wide as it's got to get so we're gonna go ahead and do a little quick terraforming hopefully everybody likes the new overlay and it's not getting in anybody's way of seeing what I'm doing I tried to make sure it was as least invasive as possible. Tonight I think we're just going to do the basic building and then I'm going to leave the redstone for tomorrow. Oh, here we go. Forgot I did this. This makes terraforming a little easier rather than going all the way uh, through. Just lay out a bunch of dirt and then uh, set the sand on top of it. So if you do it that way, you don't have to worry about filling in all the blanks. But I did kind of want this to be on kind of a beach to give it that look that it is sitting over the ocean uh, in case anybody ever comes near it. Alright, we'll go ahead and get back to this now. So we got two. Looks like then we have the L shape. And then we go two again. And then whoop, one and then four perfect looks like we probably still have to put a little bit here looks like I'm getting a little bit of game lag or something one two three four well, in other news tomorrow is also the day I'm supposed to get that capture card so for those of you that really like to stick in here for those extended streams I have streams are gonna be much more stable because that capture card will have its own little processor in it at least this is the way I've been explained um, and that processor is supposed to take the pressure off the CPU so that I can run my uh, ooh, wait something's not right there that's why that should be two two uh, so 
basically what it's supposed to do is take the pressure off the CPU, which right now is what's been hindering me from being able to stream very well. Alright, let's take a look from the sky. That is a circle. Circles in Minecraft are obviously a little weird because you can't, you know, you're building with bricks and blocks and everything's square. So you just kind of do the best you can. Let's see what the next ring is. Looks like I did the next ring exactly the same. And for those of you that want to copy the build, this will require a lot of blocks. So be prepared to do a lot of sheep farming and uh, going into the nether. However, if you feel like changing up the base material, you can, but like I said, I just think it looks a lot better than black wool on the bottom. Gives it a little something different to look at, because you're going to see black and white all the way up to the top. Also did not go with the revolving stripes. I did perfect circle stripes. Yeah, it would probably look a little bit better, but it's also much more complicated to make sure that those stripes look the same, especially when you're dealing with squared off things instead of nice, well-rounded. Alright. And then we'll go on to the next page here. Looks like I just do the same thing again, just completely across. Oops, don't need that. Let me tell you, this was so much more difficult to do in survival. I had to build all sorts of little scaffolding and things like that. This is going to be a breeze. Tomorrow we will do the redstone. So basically we're going to build the base all the way until we get almost to the cap. And then we're going to build the redstone tomorrow. And that might involve changing the layout. If I remember correctly in my survival build I did change the layout a little bit just so that uh, everything fit. And also I didn't like the fact that when you were too close to the lighthouse you couldn't really see the revolving lights. Which, let's face it, that's what you want to see is the lights. Even if you're far off. At least that's my opinion. People can stick to the original plan if that doesn't bother them, but I'm very particular and specific about the way my builds look. Also, I'm taking any and all ideas for future builds, so please, if you have any suggestions. Uh, at one point I actually did a a bakery kind of area where it had everything I needed to make cakes and the cookies and all that stuff. Uh, if anybody's interested in seeing that, let me know. I'll be glad to show that one. Looks like the next one. I'm actually kind of surprised here. I think... Nope. I did start going in on that one, so it looks like... We start moving in and what I might do I actually had this kind of cone its way in rather uh, funny to where it was almost like an hourglass and upon thinking about it uh, not too thrilled with the way that turned out oops um, crazy that's not supposed to be like that there we go Alright, I think if we cut those out, yep, and it keeps it circular shape. And we're gonna go ahead and how do we There we go. Sorry, it's been a while since I've done any console codes in this, so um, just to make sure it still has that look, you have to, you know, luckily none of these blocks, when you get to the glass, you're, you know, you obviously can't do this, but, um, here I am breaking it too early, I'm gonna make sure that I've got everything the way it should, yep. And I noticed this was one of my more popular vids, and I kind of felt bad going back and looking at it and saying, wow, look at how long it took. It took like an hour to do something that uh, probably didn't need to be that long, and there was no commentary, just music, which maybe some people like, but I kind of feel like I owe an explanation to people when I 
change my build plan. So, let's see. And keep going in a circle here. There we go. See? It's still a perfect circle. And I believe in my next one... Oh, I build it right on top. My last one, like I said, I kind of went with like an hourglass shape, which kind of looked cool. It was a little bit different. And as we all know, a little difference is not a bad thing. But... Oh no. I think we'll figure that out when we get closer here, what I'm going to decide to do. For now, we're just going to keep following the build plan that I have set in my blueprints here. Alright, let's see. Did all these... Oh, that's right. We're placing them right on top of each other, so it doesn't matter. And then we do another row. Now, this lighthouse will be pretty darn high. I think I had it clocked at 50, uh, 50 plus floors. I think the end result was almost 60 floors, so... Keep that in mind when you're attempting to build this later. Something... Something's not right there. What's the deal? Oh! That's what it is. Alright, there we go. I thought something didn't seem right with that. Three, four, one, two, three... And... Let me tell you, when I did this in survival mode, it took me a long time to farm all the blocks I needed. I was shearing sheep like a madman. Alright, looks like my next one I did a red. So, we didn't have black wool at all. Just out of curiosity... How's the red? Here's red sand. I'm gonna guess that you get to dye sand now. Yeah, red stained clay. Ooh, wow, you know, that actually looks really nice. Um, red sand, sand. What would be nice is if there was a white sand. I got quartz. Hmm. Block of quartz. How do those look stacked next to each other? You know what? I would like to make this easier on the viewers just so you guys can get to what you need a lot easier. However, I'm not going to lie when I say that this looks way cooler. And call me crazy. But if you're going to make something, you should make it look as great as you can. Yeah, here we got chiseled. I don't think, yeah, chiseled. It's not gonna look right. Snow. Another option for us here. Mmm, snow's too textured. If you want to get rid of that texture look, which you know some people might, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of the snow block of quartz, the red stained clay. Obviously, you know, anybody who plays Minecraft can come up with their color scheme. You don't even have to go white white and red, but you know, if you're going for that traditional lighthouse, I think we all know that it's usually white and red. Whoops. And yeah, this is going to take a minute to go back. Oops. Man, my aim is just off. And the only reason I'm doing quartz is because, one, I'm in creative, so I can grab anything I want. Uh, secondly, it's the texture to me just looks so much better. The wool uh, looked a little weird. Ooh, goodness, something burned my eyes. Um, Alright, let's see now. Oops. Uh, 
Ah, come on, fly. There we go. For those of you who don't like farming quartz and you're sitting here thinking, man, I don't want to go through all that, like I said, white wool is easily accept accepted. Or, you know, it's easier to get your hands on, I suppose, would be the better phrasing. Because sheep are super abundant. But, like I said, in my opinion, I don't like that wool has kind of that liney effect through it. And that's the only reason I'm just going to go ahead and do this out of quartz. Alright. Let me tell you, when this thing gets done and the redstone's on there, wow. It looks really cool. And if you're like me and on the server that I play on with some people I join through the forums, uh, it looks really cool when it's going off. And I've also got it set to where it only goes off at night. Which, you know, just ensures that I'm not wasting rotating lights during the day, which is kind of pointless. You can notice it a little bit, I suppose, but it's not that noticeable. Alright, so there's our white. And then, like I said, we're going to do red stained clay. I don't know how uh, prominent it is to find this stuff in Minecraft. This is kind of new for me. And actually, the way I've been doing these is they've been uh, three high, so we're just going to kind of take a shortcut here and go ahead and do three each time. One, two, three. This is actually kind of reminding me of Sheldon from Big Bang. Just because he always has to knock three times. It's that OCD that I saw in Enderman for a minute. Now with the capture card coming out, or coming to my place tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be great for the computer, but obviously I really want to do some console games, namely Nintendo. So if anybody has a Nintendo Wii U and Smash Brothers, please go to my information, grab my friend code, and uh, add me. Maybe we'll get a good battle going and put on a good show. Alright, so for this next three layers, I'm going to follow that pattern there, so you can kind of get an idea of how these blocks are supposed to be placed to get the circular look. And since this is a perfect circle, when we get to the redstone, it should be rather easy for us to go ahead and start doing that. Whoops. Tell you what, that fly control is super finicky. <clears throat> Alright. I think we've got this down so far. This will bring it in a little bit. Now, the other thing I thought about doing at some point was putting in some stairs, but um, not 100% sure on that yet. We'll figure that out when we get to the end. Maybe we'll do a video on, you know, final touches. All right, so two. All right, and then we'll just. So far, so good. Time set zero. 
Too bad I can't just disable night and day. Alright, so we did go two before going in. So I think what we're going to do... Let's see how this looks from the distance. You know, we'll go ahead and just keep going up with it. Two, three. And I am exactly three blocks up, so all I gotta do is hold the mouse button, which will make that a little easier. Holy moly. Like I said, this, this lighthouse gets pretty tall. So make sure you're prepared to go for some heights if you're doing this on a survival server. I am not responsible for your Minecraft death. Alright, I feel like I hit another block somewhere, but looks like we're fine. Alright, and then we're going to go in again. Oops. And there was a trick I had, but for the life of me, cannot remember what it was. In survival mode, oh, if you, uh, when you get to this part, if you do this and then that, you can recover that block a lot easier. Rather than doing the outside and then you're dropping all your resource blocks, which you're probably trying to not have to climb all the way up and down for. For... Obviously, with me being able to fly, this is not a huge issue to deal with. Two, three, four. I think I like how this is coming out. Right, you basically want to... Alright, I can't add any more, so we'll do that. Maybe I should skip ahead in my plans. Because now I'm thinking about it, the way I'm doing it, since I'm not, uh, I'm going, not going in and out in an hourglass fashion like I did last time, uh, the plans that I currently have are going to be a little off. You know what? Just so you can kind of tell that this is the entrance. Whoops. Kind of bring that out a little bit. Maybe we'll, uh. Nah, that looks weird. We can put a set of double doors in there. Maybe we'll. I'll think about the extended entrance. I don't know. That's. I did want it to come out a little bit, but, you know, we don't need to get crazy here. We can do that. Yeah, just for right now. We'll get back with the door here a little bit later. Let's go ahead and go up here. And I think instead of doing a six, we're going to go ahead and start making our way in, because according to my plans, I go in, and then I start to puff back out don't I wow okay I do start to puff back out and it looks like my maximum here is one two three four five six seven ten a radius of ten and right oops I guess I didn't need that uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten which means I need to come in about one or two more so we'll go ahead and do this I could have just severely miscounted if I did I apologize we'll find out here in just a moment and since we're in creative mode those little extra blocks won't be that hard to get rid of right Oh, 
however, according to the way my plan, no, plans show us going in one more. So I bet you after this one, we're going to go in one more. And that will be yeah, just placing these blocks everywhere. All right, so, yep. Let's go ahead and get ourselves lined up for that. Slowly making our way around. You know, now I'm doing this in creative mode. I don't know how I ever did this in survival mode. Don't get me wrong, I love survival mode just because you have that little bit of difficulty, but man. Sometimes these big projects can just get rough. See? It's looking pretty good, isn't it? The swirling stripes would probably look a little bit cooler, but. Um, believe me, once we get that redstone light up there, uh, you won't even notice. In fact, that's kind of where this thing is going to shine, is the redstone lights. Alright, we're going to keep it up here. From what I could tell, this might actually be a little bit shorter than my original plans. And if that's the case, well, that's probably a good thing, because... That'll shrink the number of resources you guys will need to remake this, which I think you'll all be thankful for that when you're trying to farm up everything to do it. Uh, I think I picked a nice little spot in this world. I just generated a world specifically for whenever I do Minecraft streams. Alright, so I think we need to still go one more in. We're gonna so we only need a ten block radius. I feel like when I counted that I did some either some incorrect math. Or not building it the way I had originally planned is causing an issue here. Alright, so let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that last one actually was going to be 10 around. All right, so I did, uh, luckily we did that before we got too far here. And just because I am having an issue with my math here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and give this guy a couple more levels here. I'm actually kind of curious how it would look if we went down to two instead of three per row. Uniform's great, but sometimes I get kind of tired looking at the same pattern over and over again. Love how those red clay bricks just kind of mesh with each other. You can't even tell that uh, it doesn't even look like there's a divider. I wish there was some white clay just because of that. Alright. Look at that. Bet you that'll look pretty neat. Alright. We now have what I believe is going to be our base for the lighthouse. Alright, let's see what we're going to do here. And then basically what I did was created kind of a catwalk using... We're going to do that. 
Another brick. Well, we can either use another brick or we can use black wool. We have black stained clay. Man, we got all these colorful stained clay. But when you want a white stained clay, they don't got it. Oh my gosh, they do. However, that's kind of an eggshell white, and that doesn't look that great to me. Alright, so we're going to continue with what we were doing here. Hmm. Well, to be quite honest, I almost want to do the nether brick because I like the neat idea that you can... Here, we'll move this stuff over. What I want to be able to do is add some more kind of texture underneath the catwalk with the nether brick stairs because I think that'll look pretty cool. Alright, so let's see what we got here. I think we only have the catwalk part coming out maybe a couple blocks. Actually. Okay, I, I'm using the black stained clay. How's that going to look when I... Here, we're going to... adjust my brightness here just so we can kind of see eh, we should probably you know what we'll probably do is we'll use the black clay for the base because I've been sitting here trying to rack my mind on a dark color that would look great down at the bottom and now that I know that this clay is a thing can do that so all right and we'll go down there and change that black clay part here in just a minute first I want to make sure this looks good go ahead and extend this in. We'll probably end up tearing some of the floor out. Um, and you'll find out why when we get there. Or rather, I'll, I'll just go ahead and explain it. What ends up happening is um, when you put the redstone down, it, it eats up quite a bit of space. So... Essentially, you'll end up removing a lot of bricks just to make room for it. Alright, let's take a quick look at the plans. Alright, so far so good. Sorry, I started to realize I was slouching heavily. Alright. Then we'll make sure that these are indeed... Yep, they're all coming out a little bit. Should we do that? Should we just... Yeah, we'll just leave it like that for right now. <clears throat> we'll change that later if we think that starts to look a little bit better. Alright. Alright, and if you see, that's a perfect circle. And it does kind of come out a little bit, which gives it a nice little piece of character, you know? I don't think it would look as neat. Now, 
This is a bit of a predicament. Now, if I remember correctly, I have seen these bricks do kind of a weird corner design, but the question is how to get it to do that, because that would look really cool. Um, uh, and I, I'm just not really sure how to... You know what, maybe the nether brick can't do that, if that's the case. We're not using the white wool. Let's take a peek. I feel like I've built before where that was the case. Build, stair, that. Oh, let's do this. Minecraft, stair, placement. Try that. All the info and more is at deathcap for cutie.com. Looks like somebody diagrammed it out. It's how to make it flip upside down, flip right side up. But I swear that's it right there. The only thing I hate about corner they don't go in corners. That's a... What's he mean? Seems like people don't get what you... He's talking about this. The corner stair by itself. Without surrounding stairs. I don't know of a way to make it. I've tried everything. How to program it. Right clicking a stair changes it. How? Ooh. corner stair how to program it right clicking a stair changes it just like switches rotating pictures changing redstone delays all right so no it most certainly does not placing stairs next to the sides turns it into a corner but breaking the adjacent stairs doesn't revert it into a plain stair Let's uh, try this theory. I'm starting to think maybe another brick just doesn't do that. just have to probably accept it for right now. You could shift click like for the chess and stuff. Oh maybe these are just people talking about uh making stuff. Minecraft, how to make a corner stair. Stairs now automatically change shape into corner stairs depending on location. Well, it's cool, but that doesn't tell me. Wondering if Okay, that's why 
So it can be done, but it can't be done with two bricks on each side. It has to be done with sets of stairs on each side. So if I were to say do this, I could do that. Wonder how that would look. You know what? We can make it work. I would rather have that than uh, the way I had it a minute ago. Uh, Alright, well I think that's going to be fine. Goodness. Uh, there we go. Alright. This might jive up the circle a little bit, but at least it looks better. I wish that I could see under here. I wonder if I get some torches and, oops, just break them off if that'll help. Alright. Let's see. Got building blocks, tools, combat, materials. And where on earth would they put torches? Oh, well, that would have been nifty a little bit ago. We'll get rid of that potion because we're not really using it. There we go. Look at that. A little bit better. Or at least easier to see. Alright. Oh. And then I already see the issue here. Alright, so. Make sure all these are cornered. Yep. I think this side's missing a corner. They're missing the stairs all together at the moment. And cornered. Okay. Um I must have to There we go. Ever have those moments that you're really hoping you're doing something the correct way? It's kind of what I'm feeling at the moment. Ah, something about that ain't right. Well, it's because. Now it's falling around. Now let's see here. Must come out like that. Or am I... Nope. That's looking fine. Just so we can kind of see what happened here, we're going to place these torches. So even during the daytime, I still couldn't see anything. Alright, so set time to zero. Alright. And now, 
lighthouse is starting to look like a lighthouse. Look at that. I think that looks great. Now, I can either build this one more up. I think I want to bring it out. Which won't require any stairs. I just want to make the kind of the area where you can kind of walk out onto the lighthouse just a little bigger, you know? Alright, obviously. Now it's a perfect circle. Alright, and... <laughs> Still trying to get a hang of this flying. Alright, so now this is what we got. And now that I'm looking at it... We're going to leave it for now, but I think we're probably going to end up taking it out later. Just because I'm not fully sold on the shape. And then like I said, down here I think we're going to change this into black clay. Just because it'll look a little bit cleaner. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, definitely. In fact, while we're sitting here, let's... Two, three... Looks like we went fours on these ones. And another thing that I was just thinking about, um, a lot of this stuff is going to be looked, the looks are going to be based on the texture pack you're running, so, um, you know, I suggest uh, loading up your texture pack and seeing what these materials look like before you waste too much time farming them and uh, doing what I'm doing, which is going back and having to replace bricks because I decided I wanted something else and I am using just the traditional uh, pack I believe I might use something a little later just to kind of see how this looks when it's all done and then we can kind of make some decisions and vote in fact, if anybody's got some tips for me or some suggestions on how to make this look a little bit or things that might make this look a lot better, submit them to my messages. I do check this thing. Uh, we're just going to fill that with clay for the moment because I don't want to look for sand in my stuff here. And four. Like it's raining. Can do without that for the moment. Oh goodness. Alright. I don't know why. I just like the way this black stained clay looks so much better. like most of that's been replaced. For whatever reason or another, it is so difficult to whoop, see what I'm doing. All right, maybe we'll have some torches or something there, but anyway, 
I think this is where we're going to call it for the evening. Looks like we're about 50 minutes, so uh, good base, good start. Tomorrow I will be doing extended streams, likely because it's Friday. We will go ahead and get the redstone done, and if we have enough time after the redstone, I'll hop right in and uh, finish the top. The redstone does include the glass, and it's probably what I think is the more expensive and time-consuming things that you need. I know redstone's pretty easy to come by, but you end up running up quite a bit, and there's plenty of uh, capacitors and all that stuff. I, I think I just said the wrong one, but repeaters. You need a lot of repeaters, so uh, this does take a while. Anyway. I'm going to cut the stream here, and I'm going to load up and start playing the next game on my list for the evening, which is going to be uh, Heroes of the Storm. For everybody that's watching this, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that follow button or the subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube later. I look forward to hearing any comments. Have a nice night.